Hello everyone. It's day 10 of the 40 Days of Abundance by John Randolph Price. We've made it 10 days on this journey together. I'd love to hear what's coming up for you, what shifts, what changes, what internal feelings you're having. Um, and make sure you're writing all of this amazing stuff in your Prosperity Abundance Journal so that way you can track everything that's happening for you. So statement number 10 of the John Randolph Price 40 Days of Abundance. I keep my mind and thoughts off this world and I place my entire focus on God within as the only cause of my prosper prosperity. Excuse me. I acknowledge the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs as the substance of all things visible. I place my faith in the principles of abundance and action within me. Let me read that again. I keep my mind and thoughts off this world, and I place my entire focus on God within as the only cause of my abundance. I acknowledge the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs as the substance of all things visible. I place my faith in the principles of abundance and action within me. So what does that mean? That means I keep my mind and thoughts off the BS, off the looping mind, the committee, the monkey mind, the BS that's going on in between these two ears that is saying anything less than what I know to be true. And that is, it is my birthright to be abundant. It is my birthright to have ease and grace in my life. So I keep my mind off all of that, all the BS, all of that's not a reality it just is the what isness of right now so if that's what I don't want then what do I get to do change what's what where it's coming from if I'm the amplify I'm the signal I'm sending the messages into the universe of what I desire whether that is the abundance flow or the limited beliefs that are going on if I want to go down the path of believing the thoughts of the limited belief then that's what I'm creating so when I allow my mind to entertain the thoughts of you're not good enough, you don't know enough, who are you to be sharing, who's going to listen, there's so many conversations that can derail me if I allow that to happen because I'm still human, obviously. I'm not perfect. This is a practice, a daily practice to show up. It's not a quick, easy pill you take and the next morning you're like, oh, I'm now living an abundant life. It takes time. So the more we clean up this internal system, the more it's going to change my outside world, what's showing up, how my reality is. So I want to keep my mind and thoughts off this world and I place my entire focus on the God, on God within as my only cause of my pr prosperity. So the God within, my inner child, my soul, my subconscious, my conscious. So I give the focus, the entire focus. And right now, personally, I'm battling and going through a, a shift. And in that shift, there's moments where the monkey mind likes to take over and grab the mic and take over the show. And so I get caught in these split moments of the rational mind knows, okay, this is just what is right now. This is not our reality. This is not what we believe we're here to experience. So what is it within me that's creating those thoughts? Am I off of my, my morning practice? Am I off of my daily practice? Am I not feeding myself all of the positive content and nutrient dense food and feeding my soul? What, so if I'm feeding myself crap TV shows or crap Netflix shows that is bringing no value to me, then that's a direct reflection of what I'm creating in the, in the, in the material world. So it all matters. I truly think for me, it matters. I don't put content in my body that I don't want to have in my brain. I don't want horror, horror shows. I don't watch scary movies. I don't watch things that are super violent. Um, and so for me, keeping that this is a sacred vessel and really being conscious and aware of what I'm feeding myself 
then I'm in an, a better place of understanding what's going on outside of me. So for me, I'm dropping back into my meditations. I'm getting more still and quiet. Um, the things that work for me, getting back into nature, grounding, do some artwork, um, and simple, like maybe just even coloring my mandala, mandala book, or I'm just sketching, or just playing with my colored pencils on a sheet of blank paper. Whatever it helps is to synchronize, synchronize this mind into remembering my greatness, remembering why I'm here, remembering my birthright. I acknowledge the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs. I acknowledge the inner presence as my only activity in my financial affairs. So again, my inner presence, who, how is my inner presence showing up? What is it saying? What is it doing? And how is it showing up? Acknowledging, acknowledging the inner presence as the only activity in my financial affairs, as the substance of all things visible. So direct reflection of what's showing up outside of my world is what's inside. I place my faith in the principles of abundance and action within me. Pretty self-explanatory. So that's the action step. I'm actually physically putting the faith into the principles every day. So whatever that mantra or meditation or phrase or statement or whatever it is that helps you shift back into that mindset, back into the belief, the faith into the principle of abundance is the action. So thank you guys. I greatly appreciate your support and love. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, please just shoot me a message. If you uh, are seeing shifts in your life, I'd love to hear about that. And if you're man whatever you're manifesting in your life, whether it's a cup of coffee or um, all the green lights or you know an item that you are man you're holding space to manifest, whatever it is, in the visible or non-visible, the physical or non-physical form, whatever that is, tracking that, being aware and acknowledging and being in gratitude of those manifestations that you're calling into your life. So thanks again so much. Have an amazing, beautiful day. Again, this was statement 10. I will post the statement and a link to the music. The format again is read the statement. You go into a meditation 10 to 15 minutes and then new stream of consciousness right into your journal. Um, anything that's coming up for you and make sure that you're writing your gratitudes. Another um, little uh, gem I'd like to share with you um, is two things, speaking into existence, those things that you desire and giving gratitude as if they are already happening. So for example, one for me right now is I am so grateful and thankful that I have manifested the tour bus and the team to take quantum love hugs on tour this year to all the festivals and beautiful towns and cities and communities to share the oxytocin love, to share the abundance of hugs, to share the blessings of being a high vibrational frequency human being. So I'm super excited. Um, and so that statement is one I'm speaking in as if it has already happened in my life, giving gratitude that the tour bus is here, the team is here, the tour dates are already set, all of our hosts are set up, everything that we desire to manifest, to create the Quantum Love Hugs tour with so much ease and grace and flow is already here. And truthfully, it is. It really is already here. That's the, the what I've been learning doing this 40 Days of Abundance book by John Allen Randolph Price for several years has really taught me is that what, I man what I'm calling in, what I'm, I'm desiring to manifest, it's not having to be created into in a factory of Azul's manifestations. There's not a building somewhere in an industrial part of LA that they have people working over around the clock to manifest all my desires. No, that shit's already here. It's on the physical plane. It's waiting for me to open my eyes and open my heart and receive it. For example, and this may not be the direct reflection of this actual thing is there waiting for me, but on the other side of my wall where I'm living right now, there is a tour bus. Let me just show you. This is how crazy life is. I don't know how well you'll be able to, but do you see that? Do you see that?